Olivia, Lord Olivia. I mean, you worked with him, didn't you? Yes. What kind of an experience was that? It was fascinating. We became great friends, but Larry had, was the great man of the theatre, you know what I mean? And, and, and in the theatre, everybody's there to get the great man's performance. You're just there, you're, you're, it's all sort of grovelling and everything. And we started the film together, and after about a week, he said, I, I thought, Michael, I, I had a, a servant in you. I see I have a partner. <laughs> oh, really? I said, yes, Larry, you do. You have a partner. <laughs> uh, I said, I think you're the greatest actor in the world and you're a much better actor than me, but you are going to have to go as hard as you can because I am never going to let you off and I'm never going to let you down. I will go everywhere you go with you. I said, and I know my position but I'm not succumbing to it. <laughs> and we became tremendous friends, tremendous friends. Did you, I don't suppose there was much he could teach you, was it, in the sense, because... Not about the movies, because no, he was a stage actor. Exactly, that's yeah. precisely my point, because he was a screen actor and, and he wasn't that. He, was he had some lovely stories. He told me once, he, when they dropped the atom bomb on Hiroshima, he said, he was working for, for Sam Goldwyn. And Sam Goldwyn didn't have a great command of the English language. Mm. And he, it was great headlines, an, an entire city wiped out by one bomb. And he called, Sam called Larry up to the office and he had this Los Angeles time, you know, one bomb, Hiroshima, gone. And he said, he said to Larry, he said, Larry, that atom bomb is dynamite. <laughs> <laughs>